paranoid friends. I don't, I don't, I don't like them. I think I prefer like a paranoid friend. I would go for a paranoid friend. Why? Because I don't want to be walking on eggshells around my friends. friend because paranoid friends they are always afraid they assume there is problem even when there is no problem uh, we need to understand some certain things about these two categories of friends the first is that a paranoid friend has issues with um, trust then has issues with food yeah, you know then for the secretive friend is shrouded in mystery and uh, such a person can be very 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 dangerous I think I prefer like a paranoid friend, somebody that always like speak out on issues, bothering them so that we can like know how to like tackle tackle the issue. I think we don't want someone who's always like uh, keeping everything secret to themselves. They keep like uh, was, um, whatever that is bothering them, they keep it secret to themselves. I believe that the word paranoia and friendship should not be used in the same context. I do not see why I should be with a friend who is so anxious, mistrustful, or suspicious of each and every of my moves. I can't deal with them, please. They, 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 they run when they are not supposed to run. They don't even trust themselves, not to talk of trusting you. So they are always thinking, they, they, they make things up in their head. They always think people want to attack them. I can't deal, please. I think I would go for a paranoid friend over a secretive friend. And that's because Sometimes if a friend is paranoid, you can just take it as misguided love. That's just how they are, you know, that's how they just express their own feelings. So like that's a positive. But with a secretive friend, I don't I don't really see any positive there. I do not see why I should be with a friend who is so anxious, mistrustful, or suspicious of each and every of my moves. The mm -hmm. meaning of the word friend or the, my own interpretation of the word friend is someone who I can trust, someone who is loyal to me, someone who I am also loyal to, someone who looks out for me. I would go for a paranoid friend. Why? Because I don't want to be working on eggshells around my friends. No. I want to be able to say, okay, with this certain action, I would expect a certain reaction from my friend. You know, I know that, okay, when I do something like this, he or she would do something like this. Not when I do something like this. I have to consult IFA or GMAT to understand the next step or to understand even what the person is thinking about. I just prefer someone who, who just speaks up about something. When the person is worried about an issue, you know that, yes, the person is worried about a particular issue. Being anxious, being mistrustful, being suspicious of my action, uh, nah, I, don't, I, won't, I won't pick that. So for me, it's a secretive friend over a paranoid friend. I prefer a paranoid friend, you know. Paranoid friends, I don't, I don't, I don't like them. Like, <laughs> this guy can be planning to run you streets and you won't know, you'll just be there doing my friend. So, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll go for a paranoid friend or a secret friend.